Hey guys, this is Sean. I wanted to do a video on uh, my new knife sharpener. I received the new Wicked Edge WE-130. Um, I made my own base um, out of 5 8 inch wood. I had to get some shorter screws for the bottom uh, to fasten the Wicked Edge to the base. Stuck some rubber feet on it. And um, I bought 12 inch arms because I have a lot of Japanese knives and I bought the low angle adapter as well. So the, I bought the longer arms just in case I need the extra length and uh, for my um, Japanese knives. I bought some neodymium magnets. Uh, they are extremely strong. I put them on the base as well. And what I got with the Wicked Edge, I got the 100, 200, stones um, the 100 200 diamond stones the 400 600 diamond stones the 800 1000 diamond stones I got the ceramic stones as well. Um, I talked with Clay at Wicked Edge and he said that these were probably equivalent to 3,000, 6,000 on the whetstones. And then I, I purchased the, the straps that I will use for my uh, Japanese knives only. It is one micron and 0.5 microns. I have the diamond paste to go with it as well. Um, the reason that I bought them is uh, my skills on the whetstones have not uh, improved that much. I'm still working on it. Um, I'm still working on the whetstones. I have some King KDS whetstones. Um, I've got a 400 grit, a uh, 1,000, and a 6,000 grit. Um, I've, I'm working on that. I, I'm not perfecting my skills yet. Uh, so I think it's going to take some time. Uh, but anyways, I want to do this video. Uh, my, my mom was actually about ready to buy a whole new knife set. Hers is kind of gone. So what I said is no, don't do that. I have a whole set of Chicago cutlery, uh, knives. They are supposed to be cut at a 16 degree bevel, but on the wicked edge it's 17 degrees. I'm going to get a, uh, angle, uh, finder, um, that I have not gotten yet. So anyways, these are the two, uh, this is the first knife that I've sharpened on the Wicked Edge. And this is the second one that I sharpened. The first one probably took me about 15 minutes to do. The second one probably took me about eight minutes to do. Um, once you kind of, once you kind of get used to it, you can see there's some scratches on, on the bevels. Uh, that was from the whetstones. I was messing around with it on the whetstone. And, uh, and you can see I put the angle adapter for the whetstones here and it, it scratched it. And it scratched it here as well. You can see the, the long scratch right there. I was uh, putting the angle adapter on it. Um, so um, on the whetstones to help give me some, um, uh, some guidance or some help with the angles on the whetstones. I'm trying to do a a constant 17 degrees or 16 degrees is really hard um, but I know I'll eventually master it but right now it's it's very difficult so I got um, I got the this is the first knife that I've done and and you can I'm very very happy with myself that I the knives are this sharp um, it, it is absolutely insane on how sharp these knives are. Um, I went, uh, I did 100, 200. I did a 100 because I had a lot of nicks in the knife. And I still have one little nick in the chef's knife that I want to pull out. Um, and then the Santoku, um, I did 400, 600, 800, 1,000. And then I did the ceramic stones. And then... For the chef's knife, I did 100, 200, and then all the way up to the ceramic stones. Uh, so, like I said, guys, I am hugely, hugely impressed with this knife sharpening system. 
um, it is not cheap. It, it, is, it is expensive, but I can tell you this is a solid piece of, um, solid, solid piece of machinery here. Um, the WE-130 has the, the clamping system here. Uh, it, it is a fantastic clamping system. You don't have to worry about one side getting pushed over or anything. Uh, it, it grabs your knife um, equally on both sides. Uh, it's, a, it's a cam system or whatever. So um, I'm, I'm very, very happy with this system. Um, I'm going to call Clay or whoever get a hold of Wicked Edge and give them a big thank you. Um, so the cost of this whole system with all the, the stones, the diamond stones, the ceramic stones, the strops, and the little base that I have and the low angle adapter was a little over nine hundred dollars. Um, I know that that is that is really high, but um, this system I, I plan on sharpening knives for myself, as well as uh, my family and friends, and then maybe I'll turn it into just a little side business or something, just to sharpen some knives. I'll show you some of the knives that I'm going to sharpen down the road. Um, so here are just a couple of the knives that I'm going to sharpen down the road. I, you know, so every time you send them out, it's going to cost you probably between $25 and $35 to sharpen them. This is my new uh, Miyabi chef's knife. It's a Miyabi Kaizen. It's the original. And this is my Enzo Bunka knife. I don't know however the heck you say that. Um, but it is a, it's a beautiful knife. Uh, the, this one is ground at um, 12 degrees, bevel on each side. This one is crazy. This one is uh, beveled at 9 degrees on both sides. Uh, so anyways, um, just wanted to give you guys a real short review of this, knife, uh, of this knife sharpening system. It is a fantastic knife sharpening system. I'm very happy to have it. And I imagine, uh, talking with Clay... Um, I'm pretty sure that these the stones should last, I don't know, 100 to 200 knives at least each. And I think he said the ceramics should probably last me forever. Um, I did buy some high polymer erasers for it. And you can see the, the job that it's done. Um, it, has, uh, it has made them completely white again, just to show you. Uh, it was covered with all that, all the dust from the knife. Um, but uh, did a great job. One thing that I will recommend is that you definitely, definitely, definitely wipe off the knife between each different stone. If you're using a 100, wipe off the knife before you go to the 200. Wipe it off again before you go to four and six, and then wipe it off again before you go to eight, wipe it off again before you go to 1,000, and whatnot. Um, this will save uh, your stones from getting a lot of dust on them. And uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, please hit the like button down at the bottom and subscribe to my channel if you guys like this. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I, I Like, again, I'm going to say one more time, the Wicked Edge is, um, is an outstanding knife sharpening system. If I can make a knife this sharp on the first time, um, you guys can do the same thing. Uh, the, the biggest thing is you got to create a burr on both sides. And then from there, I do... 25 strokes on each side with each each stone that I go up. So I create the burr on one side, I create the burr on the other side with my lowest stone, and then I do 25 strokes with that stone on both sides, and then I go up from there, um, 25 strokes, 25 strokes, all the way up until I hit the ceramic stones. So that that's what I've been doing, and um, it did take me a long time with the chef's knife and the santoku to get a burr um but i'm thinking and it, it the the 100 really scratched the hell out of my chef's knife um but all the all the the ceramic stones took out all the scratches it's a it's a beautiful bevel now uh, the santoku i did from 400 on up um so if you guys have any uh questions just hit me up at the bottom please hit the like button and subscribe button and I look forward to seeing your responses. Thank you, guys. Bye.